I am particularly interested in what people are watching outside of the United States. Um, and so much of our business has changed to, to where the international marketplace is not just an important part, but it's essential. Um, it's critical. And so the more I can learn uh, about different cultures and what they're watching and what they're interested in, it's not only good for our business, but it's great to, to learn about different people all over the world. And, and I think it's one of the great things about being in the entertainment business is I've been able to travel and meet people uh, from, from different places. You know, I pick shows that hit me in the gut. If an idea is interesting to me, even if the even if the story isn't right, I will work with the writer to figure out the best version of that story to tell in that arena. If I can find a kernel in some idea that someone has, I will try and find a way to make it good and interesting for me. It's always interesting when you're doing a spin-off to ask yourself, how much should it be the same and how different should it be? And it's really difficult because you know that the audience likes what they like and so you want to make sure that you give them what they like, but you don't want it to be exactly the same because then they can say, well, then why are we, we watching it twice? We're, we're already seeing it, uh, you know, uh, uh, at, at eight o'clock. We don't need to, to watch another one at nine. I think that for all of us, uh, any monopoly is bad, whatever business you're in. And so I guess the question is, is Netflix going to be our great savior or is it going to have us all working just for Netflix? And I'm, I'm exaggerating obviously, but it is, it is a concern. Um, but I do admire what they're doing and just like everyone else, I would love to have a show on Netflix. This is an important time for our business and I have to say that I really like meeting people and I love the entertainment industry and I love making shows, I love making movies. And so to be able to, to talk to different people from all over the world about television and film and what's going on in their country and the culture is both personally and professionally very interesting to me. We sold a, a part of our company and became partners with Entertainment One um, about six months ago. And um, one of the things that I had said to them was that I was very, very interested in being a part of selling the shows that we create. Um, I, I didn't want just to have a show that was sold by the sales team. I wanted to be a part of it. I want to know the buyers. I want to listen to what they have to say. And so uh, hopefully this will be my first of many years here at MIPCOM.